Hello, hello everybody, it's Web Prof Chof, and we're back again with another video. This is Quasimorph Review by Seth. Uh, interesting thing is, I've actually played this game before. I've played a game that Seth is reviewing. I'm one of the other 60 people that have done this. So let's see what he thinks about Quasimorph. Quite enjoyed it. It's weird, but... In the not-so-distant future, man no longer fears the tyranny of a state. As sovereign God damn, slap evolved, me like that. We found the best Far Cry 2. Love the game. Anarcho capitalism. Whenever anarcho capitalism is mentioned to me in conversation, it's usually followed by repealing the age of consent. But in this case, it's simply... How many times has that been... Included in a conversation, god damn it. Simply means everything and everyone in this entire solar system is corporate property. Quasimorph mm -hmm. is an early access roguelike where you take the role of Magnum PMC, a private military contract. He's not joking. Flexible morality that does work no morality, absolutely none. Is, the world is you over. can skim people. Judgment day is here, and we're all going to die, and we've chosen to profit from the chaos. But first, a word from our sponsor, because I gotta get that bread. Whoops, sorry guys, my PC crashed. Again, I Again. had a single Chrome tab open. God my damn! Out fire, burned down my 22 house, gigabytes? My wife's son. Thankfully, today's video is That's wife, by though. Opera GX. It's no small secret that modern web Jesus. browsers are hogs. They always say, How does that happen? Rig bro. But you know what? No, I'm using Opera's GX control feature to limit are you the you and RAM the browser can use. So I can game uninterrupted, no matter how many memories was that game? Elon adds to Twitter. Opera GX is extremely modable. Check out this one that I made. I've heard your cries, your demands. More, Seth. We want more, Seth. Hey, well, hey, now hey, you've got me. With every hey, hey, single oh, keystroke, God. I'll be there stroking right alongside you. Oh, you don't like that? You just want to... Well, what are we gonna be doing together, Seth? Might have to download that now. Themed wallpaper. Opera GX once again. Has dark. Recovered. How much darker can? Which features come from which mods? And with a plethora of excellent mods on the store page, your browser can be whatever you want it to be. Camp Check this out by tweaking the music, keyboard sounds, tab sounds, theme, wallpaper, and custom shader. I've created the ultimate web browsing experience. <sighs> Music to my ears. Now, I know what you're thinking, Seth. This browser sounds pretty cool and all, but does it? Browsers is such a pain. True. Well, Opera GX has an import tool to quickly download all your settings, history, bookmarks, and passwords in ah. just one click. Use my link to download Opera GX today and say goodbye to all those. Can I link it to my phone though? Other browsers. Probably. To answer the question, what is a quasimorph? Sometimes the most accurate answer is the schizophrenic one. The setting of quasimorph stems from the esoteric. The new Andreev. Daniel Andreev in his book Rose of a World, which describes what the hell? Akar, or the systems of parallel worlds connected to Earth. These consist Was that Drake in a Turas, the superimposition, it. influence, and overlap of which formulate together to create existence. At least I think so. Uh, Quasimorph is an intruder stepping in from another reality, ah. and unfortunately, the veil between worlds is weakest between your chest cavity. Quasimorph is a turn-based survival extraction shooter, or in other words, 2D escape from Tarkov, except fun. The principle mm. is very simple. We take out a car. Yeah, sure. Send in one sure. Of our agents. If they die, no problem. They're not really At least he don't wait like 15 minutes to get into a game, then die in two seconds, then have to wait. 20 more minutes to get into another game. More people okay. than they are proprietary neuro imprints. We license their consciousness and we bioprint as many replacements necessary for total client satisfaction. You're free to yeah, we're clones. From any of the major corporations, including the quasimorphs. We may be locked in an existential war for humanity, but that doesn't stop me from holding stock in Sectland. Rapture is coming, but homie, I got some great dividends. And you start with a favorable. <laughs> you can actually make them allies and they don't attack you. Which is crazy, but also After awful because you don't, help them you know, trench into this have any humans left. Start a mission by selecting an active contract around the planet or moon you're currently orbiting. This requires you to select a mercenary, a class, and a loadout for the mission. After which, you're deployed into hostile territory. Anyone you see, anything that moves, 
is kill on site. An entire mission is two to four levels. If you change your mind midway and call the shuttle, fuel is expensive, so it's cheaper <laughs> to let you die. The only way to and you lose everything is completing the objective, which can be espionage, station defense, sabotage, elimination, or conquest. If you die anywhere in between, you lose everything. And I assure you, you're going to be dying a lot. If it's a yeah. consolation, uh, I died during the tutorial because I picked up a knife. Bro, same. I, I, I bled in the tutorial and they were like, they didn't give me much info, so I cut my arm off, which made me bleed more, which I probably should have figured that was going to happen. And then I died. Like, bro, I don't know biology works like that. Selected it does work like that. And clicked on my head. Okay, I didn't know you could amputate your head. The more time you spend, That's crazy. The more blood you spill, <laughs> the higher your level of quasimorphosis. Yep. Quasimorphosis measures the probability of ecolapse, where upon death, the host explodes and a quasimorph phases in. The severity of a situation is described in the bottom right. <laughs> Somnia, no events. Grasp, occasional ecolapse. Intrusion, music. I never noticed the names. Collapse and aggression increase. Plenum, spontaneous. Spontaneous ecolapse. Alteration. The entire floor is coming. Q-morphos. Music changes to its highest intensity. Every host in the map explodes. And finally, Rapture. If you want to live, you'll keep this number as low as possible. Naturally, there's only a few... And the also the another way you can notice when it's high is every turn starts taking like 13 minutes because there is like 50 million enemies that gotta take a turn and it becomes annoying as hell. Okay, that's another way you can notice that. Drinking vodka, Absolutely awful. New ports, and Eating. Morphine. Each time as well, I think. You consume calories. At higher weights, this is 9 calories per step. This is what Americans really believe. And to avoid starvation, we need a steady <laughs> supply of slop. But it's a Russian game, though, out, I think. I want you to consider alternative sources. Stop when taking I your head off. My enemies, is or it really people's heads off. For that implies... Yes. I considered them human to begin with. Unfortunately, oh. human flesh will raise. Actually, I don't know how much our clones are human as well, so there is that. Your quasimorphosis. You delay one death and accelerate another. However, if you find a crafting bench in an empty tin, you can turn that long pig into gourmet dinner, which will no longer I did not know you could do that. The implication Jesus being Christ. that it's not about devouring your fellow man. Strange meat. Table manners. Disclaimer, they patched the canned meat. It's oh. so over. On the God other hand, damn it. improved the crafting bench so much you have no idea. We are so back. In general, the crafting bench will save a lot of your early game runs. Uh, don't sleep on it. Improvised toilet grenades clear. Yeah, you can also craft on your ship. Rooms, makeshift batteries, power auto docks, and floor scanners. Completing a mission gives rewards, but more importantly, a reputation. You can land at any corporate asset so long as it's friendly and exchange goods for equipment. And if yep. you're completely broke but friendly with Techlan, you can even exchange yourself by amputating your own limbs. This is not a joke, it's a completely valid strategy to potato peel your digit. Wait, what happens if you amputate both of your legs? Do you still move? How fast do you move? Why have I never tried this? By the way, the trading system in this game is absolute garbage. It is the worst trading system in any game imaginable. I'm, I'm not even joking. It gives you a base value for every item. And when you give an item, you don't know what you're receiving. You can trade half your ship and it gives you a set value. And it's going to give you stuff that is equal to that value. What, what is that stuff going to be? Eh, the game decides. It's absolutely awful. I don't know who thought of that shit. Temple, Disgusting system. The ship and do it all over again. It's not efficient, but we can no longer exploit blood bag synthesis. They caught on blood to bag boys. synthesis. It was it lasted. Speaking of which, the Magnum can fabricate almost everything, so long as you have the proprietary item chip. These are effectively a perpetual license and are so incredibly valuable that finding one during a mission is a valid reason for evacuation. There's also class. I did not know that. Which unlock classes and you? mercenaries respectively. If you over a chip and you see the words data miner you've officially hit the jackpot you can do whatever you I suppose want, that was remember your actions have consequences supporting a corporation will accelerate their growth and technology if you want top shelf gear great but if you yep. turn against them in the future you're not going to be facing wage slaves and general managers <laughs> you'll be facing rival pmcs and their own special Jeez. forces so i encourage you pick a side any side and stick to it. There's a lot of minor corporations, but for the sake of time, here's the big players. SBN, Social Media Monopoly. They 
own Twitter. The best energy rifles <laughs> and the lightest armor. Real wear. Industrial Mega Man. Yeah, it is the big dudes. Carnage pattern is objectively the coolest armor, and they produce the highest RPM ballistics. And calm. Entertainment and research conglomerate. And calm. They make the most versatile armor, the best snipers, and the experimental HFC. This game's equivalent of Doom's BS. Jesus. Eslan, quasi morphs from Venus, but I'll make you Yeah, I didn't play that much, so I've not seen most of these stuff in game. You rage quit at least several I've times. seen that. Everything is Aztec, from a design to the desire for human organs. And finally, the civil resistance. These are terrorists that hope to bring about something even worse than Judgment Day. A return to national sovereignty. <laughs> they intentionally hive mind themselves into a cluster of consciousness known as a call node. In effect, they have achieved working communism. Anyway, you understand the politics yeah, of our working. Let's return to the actual mechanics. It's very tempting to finish the tutorial and go straight to the moon. Somehow, I avoided this so I didn't get filtered by a wheelchair. Quasimorphoses <laughs> unique to each planet because they're subject to the influence of a different brown fatura. Venus, Ganix. Mercury, Shartamacum. And the Earth's moon, Duger. Mars and its Duger. moons have absentia, which means there is no quasimorphosis. So, if you're starting off, I recommend Mars. If you're learning, try Mercury. Mercury and Venus. And if you know what you're doing, go to the moon. That doesn't mean any single location is safe, and death is around every corner. Most common cause of death? Flamethrowers. Not in the hands of enemies, but myself. An entire <laughs> run, gone in a flash because some unpaid worker amputated your neck with a circular saw. I assumed the weapon was busted. They can actually... So, everything is in space in this game, and you can break walls with shotguns and other weapons. So, one of the worst ways you can die is break a wall and an enemy doesn't attack that pushes you into the fucking abyss i've died countless times like that and it sucks it's every so single time myself in a straight line where it ricocheted and cut my legs clean off when you take damage you get injured i guess you can move without both legs infected. and if there's no antibiotics on hand well it has to go. Secondly, the most common cause of getting filtered. Pain shock. If you take too much damage too quickly, you get stunned. Oh yeah, you get stunned. Turn. Both yeah. systems are universal. If you shoot something hard enough, they'll get stunned from a shock. If you cause injury, you can run away as they bleed to death. And if you amputate a critical organ, they might just die instantaneously. <laughs> the number of action points you can take per turn is based on your move setting. At any time, you can switch yeah. between sneak, normal, and run. Sneak is one action point, but can detect the position of nearby enemies, use your inventory, and interact with nearby objects at no cost. Normal is two action points and run is free. However, while running, you can't open your inventory and take a severe penalty to your accuracy. Peak performance requires that you abuse the system. There's also a cover system. Switch to sneak, see enemies, switch to normal, and toss a grenade before <laughs> switching back and locking it on the same turn. A lot of players have a tendency to go autopilot in sneak mode and just die without explanation. What usually happens is they turn a sharp corner, get their shit blasted in, but because they have a single action point, they go into pain shock, which rolls over to the next turn, where they get shot again and repeat the process until they die. The whole point Damn. of running is I never to really use sneak mode. your tools, and you'll find this to be a very satisfying tactical experience. Shotguns though are awesome. About this game, but after so many hours, I can tell you, if you die. It's a skill issue. I have a brain parasite and it forces me to play this game at two times speed. I did the same. Bro, those turns take so long when there's so many enemies. Like, it's actually annoying. It takes like fucking a minute and a half at some point. Heat engine. That's a personal choice. I also same, bro. To amputate every corpse. After okay, I don't do that. That is weird. That is weird. Necessity. Classes work like a perk system and each mercenary has an intrinsic perk. This unique ability combines with your class of choice to create vastly different play Styles. There's melee example, as well. Percy comes with plus five to all resistance. Outfitted with full carnage pattern, he's the only person in the game that can set himself on fire and not take damage. And what? after putting him in Phoenix Brigade, I can shoot a single round of incendiary it's ammunition. Awesome and burn down half the map. In general, you should pick a mercenary that suits your play style. Do you want to feast on human flesh? Play Isabella because she's immune to Isabella. Action. Even better, put her as Eclipse Blades and turn your cannibalism into a ah, there's Mele. Are you tired of getting stun locked? Try Maximilian because he doesn't feel pain. Would you like a... I think that's the base class. Urza because her caloric needs are 40% of everyone else. Are you tired of scraping by? Would you like to quadruple everyone's inventory to the point where every enemy contains two flavors of ramen and a 
pack of lucky strikes? Play Tunnel Rats and experience the greatest whiplash in difficulty as everything that doesn't die to your shotgun gets knocked back into the void of space. I That's what happens to me, usually. Because there's a lot of them. If you want to kill enemies, you need to beat their resistance. And the type of damage you do is based on the ammunition. Flamethrowers and energy rifles cook organics, but have no effect on cyborgs. In contrast, the buckshot <laughs> of the shotgun will cut them to pieces. Most armor stops the blunt impact of a 9mm, but a 797 from an assault rifle will pierce right through. Quasimorphic weapons deal cold. Even if you're fully equipped, the thought they dealt radiation. Mouth will send you straight back to the menu. And poison was previously neglected, and now it's a complete menace. Also, there's turrets. I have not seen poison. Missions, and because an enemy ran right up to your face, shooting you in the crossfire. And finally, you might be asking yourself, what's that little icon on the bottom right? Don't worry about it. Anyways, I forgot how to structure this video. So I don't know what that is. In conclusion, I've missed a lot. Self-inflicted out of. Well, there's more of it. I know it's early access, but there's a lot of content already, and you can easily sink. God, if they f if they change the trade system, this game could be so good. By the way, he didn't mention that everything has a like an endurance on the items, which I'm not a big fan. They break so fast, even the weapons. 80 hours on just the main gameplay. Jesus Christ! Roadmap and features to come that I cannot disclose at this time because I promised I wouldn't tell. As oh. always, more content to come next year because I gotta see my family. Merry Christmas! He has a family. The many members of Emerge God Guild damn it! Generously funding and bankrolling these videos consistently for several years. Aye. They're all truly wonderful, and you give me more than I deserve. Jesus Christ! Change that a lot. Stop asking me to take your money, so I will. In exchange, enjoy the outro. Okay, yeah. All right, the game is good. It has a lot of minus, well, some minuses, personally. As I said, not a big fan of the train system. Let me know what y'all think if you've played it, and I'll see y'all next time, okay? Bye, everybody. Have a nice day. Bye.